everyone. Welcome back to my Let's Play of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. When we last left off, we did um, some of Tomi's playthrough, and basically we saw um, Shinonome left. Oh, we found the 13th Sentinel, which we know was there because that was the time when Izumi basically went ham and was in the Sentinel for way too long and sort of basically lost his mind in a sense and Megumi found him and was like no and then Sahigahara showed up and was like yeah 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 or whatever um and then Shinonomi ran away so we went to go look for her and then we ended up getting attacked by androids to which uh Sakigahara saved us um and that was some stuff I'm a little confused on things he said but maybe it's just because I mean timelines time is wibbly wobbly and stuff um and then we went on to Yuki, who um, decided to start working with good old Detective Onishi after getting into a fight, <laughs> getting arrested by the police. Um, oh, I guess we didn't do this. Tokisa Saka Shrine investigation, a fruitless effort. But yeah, so we fought Wajima, and we had to go through interrogation. And basically, um, we ended up at the Sentinel that was hidden in the Shikishima facility, um, found out where our pilots. Apparently, a lot of people are gaining the ability to pilot the same Sentinel, which is interesting. Uh, and then uh, Morimura said something along the lines of, he must he's come into contact with her a lot of times and the code keeps changing. So I think they were talking about Yuki and I'm not sure who exactly she's come into contact with a lot that would change her code. Could be Yogata, but like he hasn't like done anything to her that we've seen, question mark. Um, could also be the Erykabot, I guess, but we haven't really seen the Erykabot do anything to her either. I know it has the evil Tomi evil i don't know if it's actually evil toby bot inside of it so who even knows uh but yeah so some interesting stuff going on we just unlocked her next point because we did the exterminator event um through not to know i believe so i figure we'll just continue on with yuki since we basically just unlocked it um there was something i was going to bring up oh yeah sophie commented i i'm sorry i don't see these comments ahead of time but sophie commented on a video that an important point uh Sophie's one of the viewers, by the way. I bring her up a lot. Uh, thanks for the help. Something that, uh, if you remember back, Mira in the future said, if I could choose an era to be born in, I would choose, I believe he said the Pacific War one because he was so fascinated by the history. And I think that further kind of makes me think of if they're letting people sort of like send their DNA or go to different planets, maybe the different planets are these different eras. Um, I know Sophie also said in her comment that someone said what a sector was, and maybe I didn't remember. But I thought the sectors were the different time periods, uh, which could be wrong. But they could also be referring to the different planets, I guess, if each planet is like a different time period. Uh, hard to say. Maybe we'll get some more clarification on that. I think either I'm missing in a detail that happened, or uh, I'm just brainstorming too much. Anyways, I just talked a lot, so let's move on with Yuki. Cool. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And like I said, episodes make it a little shorter uh, just because of school. So if this is the shorter episode, I do apologize. I'm going to try not to talk as much so he gets story in. I was let go? They're probably still watching me. Just waiting to use me. <sighs> Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Ninji right the Nachon was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it, that projector I hid looks a lot like a box, too. Could it be the same one? Nachon. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. Well, eh, eh. that thing I had. I need to take a closer look. But I can't let Aiba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. I was wondering that too, if the projector she hid is somehow related to um, Natsuno's. But I don't know if it has like a, as much of a personality as Natsuno's does. Like, I don't know if they're all that intelligent. Um, because the one Natsuno has, like, talks, it feels a little bit more. I don't know, I guess the other ones talk, but they look more like they just project stuff and go around and scan, so maybe we'll see if ours talks too, the one that we hid. There you are. Hey. I've been looking for you. How do you not let her know that you're on her? <laughs> this is uncomfortable. You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes. 
but I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. Yeah, hard to leave an impression when you're lying. <laughs> oh, get rid of Iba. This is like uh, before Ditch. Uh, oh, God, what was that guy's name? In Jiro's plotline? I can't remember. Our friend that we used to ditch all the time. That poor guy. Sorry. I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. Yuki, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Ugh, smells like mold in here. Ew. I saw something that. Oh. Where? Oh, I was like, where did I hide it? It's in here. Girl, did you make sure you weren't being followed? I don't need that. I don't need her to show up and freak me there out. Don't look at it in the hallway. What are you doing? It's somehow able to project things. How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? You can at least hide while you're examining it. Girl, what are you doing? I guess you could call this a box. Just hit it. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Aha. Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. Wait, from who? Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Eiseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. Oh! I don't think I'm that bad. <sighs> Interesting! All right. Hey! Oh, it's you. Yo, can you show me what's on it? I'll let it go that you killed this dude. Hey, old guy. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Yeah, how evil could he be? You didn't actually kill him. Hey, hands off! Get away from my box! Right. <laughs> Do you even know what this is? This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura. Do you know who I am? You got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Did you say Natsuno? Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? I'm Yuki Takamiya. But that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory, she is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Are you coming with us? You bet your ass I am. Yes, please, I need to know what the sectors are. It's a different years. Wait, so she got left behind in a previous year or something? Or on a previous planet, unsure. Wait, where did she get left behind? Do I know? Wait, I'm trying to remember. Uh... Tokisaka Shrine. 
I knew this place was important. Nachan came here too. You don't mean... Are you saying this is Sector 3? What's it doing? Activate gate. The hell? Don't move. Executing shift. Sector 3 destroyed city 2025. Where are we? Where's Nachon? Okay, so the sectors are the different time periods. Where else could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachon been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. Well, I wouldn't say Natsuno doesn't do reckless things. <laughs> she kind of does. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. What? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels? We need you for this too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it number 14. That's Ryoko-san's Sentinel. He's back. Hello! Right on time. So Mira's in the robot. Interesting. So, what'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth. My girl is not dead. If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. It's your daughter, man. It's your daughter, Yuki. Damn, 3000 meta chips, two event archives. Close results. Wild. Okay, so the sectors are the different time periods. Confirmed. Although, uh, still interested to see how the planets tie into that. Um, maybe, I don't know if we've gotten that far in Natsuno's timeline because I don't remember. Let's see really quick. Where do we leave her at? Uh, yes. Oh, it's 2065. That's right. That's when she discovers about the robots. So she went to 2065, not 2025. Maybe she goes there uh, in a different timeline that we haven't gotten to yet uh, because of, as we see, the battle thing. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we keep going? I don't know. Uh, maybe we should go do a battle, actually. Yeah, let's go do a battle. All right, let's continue on with Ashitaba. We have to get all the way to the next like place to get to the Natsuno, so we need to pick up these battles. All right, what do we got? Second generation, third generation only on the strike team. Oh god, can I? How do I know? Oh, it says it in their names. Okay. Oh, so that means no flight support. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. I got this ready. My turn. If you want me to go? Oh, second and third only. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry. Not you. Not you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So these two. Our second gen, third gen, third gen, fourth gen, third gen. No problem. Okay, that's that's a bad idea. Uh, maybe we should just lose the streak so that we can have a full team. Yeah, we're gonna do that. That's fine. We'll recover. It's okay. okay. All right. So Let's go. second gen, second gen, second, third, 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 fourth. So just third and second. Okay. It's gonna be up to you guys. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, let's go to the gate or the meta system. Let's enhance. I know there's trophies for enhancing them like all the way. Uh, Metaship reward up, sure. Score up, sure. 
Uh, let's see. Use is that we need level 8 for that. Let's go to level 7. Go to level 8. <laughs> Spending points like I got them because I do. Alright. Usage up to 3. We'll increase the number of chips we get. It's crazy how fast you can spend points when you're just doing things. What else do we got? Score boost. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those are all fine. Um, let's see. Uh... Let's do... Let's just increase the chips again. Fine. Alright, let's look at the peeps. Who do we got? We got second generation coming in. So, we can get jammer rocket launchers. Oh, that's decreasing move speed. Guardian Avenger. Places a guardian at the target area, acts as a decoy, and violently explodes when destroyed. That's pretty cool, actually. Let's buy that. <laughs> We're just gonna buff up Jiro because I like him. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, let's look at the animation. It's an Avenger! Look at him go! Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. She's got a shield emitter. Shield of nearby allies. That's pretty cool, actually. Repair. Recovers HP of nearby allies. Oh, actually, she could be a healer, basically. Heavy knuckles. Guardian. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's unlock that. We'll equip it. She's got the sentry gun, too. Uh, let's see. I like not to know. Uh... So rain in front of the sentinel. Oh, in front of okay, so that'd be like okay. Fires a large round directly forward at high speed through focused electromagnetic induction. Main battery mega railgun. What's the difference? 1750, 3700. Ooh. Maybe we'll give him that. Does she have that? No. She has it though. Huh. Maybe we'll give her a real gun too, because those are pretty powerful. I'll clip it. I know it looks like I'm just buying these willy-nilly, but I promise there is some method to the madness. Okay, that's enough for now. <laughs> Let's just go in. Uh, what's the clear 60 seconds? Okay. Are they going to show me what I see? Let's see. Uh, many long-range specialized kaiju will appear. Do I have long-range? Great. We have three of them. Awesome. Oh, it also says G4, G3, and G2. Okay, that's cool. Alright, uh, S rank. Okay, we'll get some stuff. So, uh, these are all... Yep, okay. Let's go. Lego Mago! Take a drink of coffee. I got coffee today. Area 1 wave 6. So if I say pep, that's why. Sorry if you just heard me slurp. May 27th, 613. Same day, old shit. Everyone here? Is it just me, or is my robot a little slower than everyone else's? The second generation Sentinels are more heavily armed than other models, but also more heavy in general. They're well over 2,000 tons, so careful where you step. Don't want to crash through some underground structure. The fusion reactor on it is pretty heavy, but its energy output is off the charts. Enough that it can power a plasma arc fusion cutter. Once you know how to use that, you'll be slicing up kaiju like a knife through butter. Aw, oh, yeah. Their original purpose was to break down massive pillars for high-rise buildings. Of course they'd be heavy. But in a close quarters fight, that 1300 ton grip strength will come in handy. Second generation models are linked to a squad of support units too. They'll respond to distress calls. If you can figure out the best time to use them, you might just turn the tides of battle. I, I don't know if I can remember all that. I was gonna say, yeah, she is kind of a support character. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Victory condition, activate Aegis or destroy all kaiju. Lost condition, terminal destroyed or any pilot killed. Same old story. Let's go. Battle start. Okay, let's see. Any new kaiju? Nice. Let's let them come down. Let's see. Oh, that's new. Twin tail. Uh, I think. We haven't read this one yet. Look at how tiny the person is. A uh, kaiju that specializes in long-range attacks. Attacks from a distance with missiles and Gatling guns. Gatling, jeez. It can be taken down at close range with melee attacks or from a distance with long-ranged weapons. Uh, missiles, Gatling gun. Anything else new? I think we've done drill fly, right? Actually, I don't think we have. Look at how freaking tiny that scale is! Uh, aerial kaiju that measures over, well over 20 meters. Attacks from the air with machine guns and missiles. Extremely agile at both digging and flight. Take it out quickly with armaments such as rail guns. Ah, yeah! Before it reaches the terminal. Great. Okay. I think that's all the new ones. Let me see. Drill fly, twin tails. Yeah, okay. Who's got our rail guns? That is it. It's not you, is it? Oh, she does. 
Maybe we should try the new real gun. Who do I give it to? Her? Oh, she's imperfect. Can I get all of them? I don't know if that is. Let's do it. Look at you, Tomiki Saragi! Alright. Uh, let's see. Can I reach them? Yeah, I don't think we need to waste the real gun on them. Nice! Well, that guy's still alive. Boo! Uh, hold on. Where is the... Who did I just give Guardian Avenger to? Okay. Oh, that's that's not really a very large area, is it? <laughs> uh, let's put some sentry guns out. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh, da -da. Can we reach him? Can yeah, we go, go ahead and shoot him. I want the sentry to waste its ammo on that guy. Oh, he's not dead. Can I reach him? Oh, no, I can't. Ooh, not reachable. Okay, can you move a little bit? Let's have you move over. To over, over here. Gotta get her a little closer. She's like a melee person. Okay, uh, hold on. Oh, is that a missile? Damn, it's a missile. Will I destroy the missile? It did, nice. Okay, cool. Alright, hold on. They need to drop down. Oh, let me put the Guardian out, actually. I think there's people on this side now. We'll have the Guardian be, like, right... Here. Very cool. Alright. Uh, did you do... Oh, have we read the... Uh, wait, have we read that one? Let me see. This is all pretty you have here. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to read. <laughs> hold, I'm trying to read. <laughs> uh, did we read this one? Hi, Quad. I don't think we have. Okay, so... Hi, Quad. Freaking massive. A uh, giant roving crane kaiju that stands over 100 meters tall comes equipped with an arsenal of weapons and thick armor. A direct hit from its powerful plasma cannons can be deadly. Find a blind spot and strike it with close quarter attacks. Uh, if we did read that already, I apologize. Uh, I felt like we did. It. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's look at the animation for this one. Repair emitter. We don't need to use it yet. No one's taking damage. Okay, that was pretty chill. Uh, have we looked at like, the guardian? Is it the same thing? Oh, it kind of looks like it. Okay. I think we've seen pretty much every other thing. We watched the main heavy, I believe. It's just kind of the same thing. Just a big pew pew. I think it's a big pew pew. There we go. Alright, solid. So I want to make sure I show off all the cool stuff we got. Okay, so you can... Should we put another sentry out? Maybe. And then, let's see. You have a... Rail gun that we can use against these big fools. Oh my god, that missile is terrifying. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need you to kill some things there, Juro. Nice, okay. Maybe I should put a guard on the end. No, oh, the guardian on the other side. Um, okay, I need you to do this. Rail gun, go! Yeah. Okay, there's guys on that side as well. Uh, let's see. Ooh, can I hit them both? Eat, get right in the middle! I don't think they'll hit them both. Nah, just the one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Cannons, let's hit them. I think they have shields. Yeah, they do. I don't know if anyone's got, uh, shield piercing stuff. Let's put a guardian over here. Distract. The fools have the sentinels just doing his work. Um, let's see. Anti ground piercing. Yeah, I need you to move a little closer over here. Maybe in the line of fire, but you'll be fine, Juro. Uh, let's see. I can't reach anything. Anyone take damage? Not yet. Let's have her move in as well. Get a little closer. <laughs> I saw her skill just activate. Gotta stay calm. Uh, let's see. Uh, should we do another real gun? Yeah. He's got plenty of EP. He's fine. Are they attacking the city? What jerks? Okay. Um. Do you have anything that's like piercing? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's do these guys. Well, that sentinel's doing great work. Okay, uh, let's see. She's still got this one. Oh, I can hit them both. Awesome. 
need a sentinel over there. Can you put another sentinel? Or not sentinel, sentry gun. These guys are working like a charm. Okay, now I should be able to attack. There we go. Almost there, Jiro. We're doing good, we're doing okay. City's only taking 99, I almost said 99% damage. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> Okay, those two are dead. These guys are probably the last two, I'm guessing. We gotta beat it in 60 seconds. We got it, we got it. We're doing good. Alright, we'll do uh, the railgun again. All hail the railguns. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Are any of these piercing? Oh, this one's piercing. There we go. Nice, Duro. Woo, 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 woo! I think we did it. Yeah, we did. That one section of the city is just on fire. Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. I think we got all the goals. Surrounding two kilometer area. I'm pretty sure. Secure. Ending tactical analysis. Oh, jeez. That's not good. I found Miwa-chan with the drone. You found her? Oh, that's a relief. No, listen. Miwa-chan's heading right for the next terminal. What? Miwa-go, what are you doing? That girl has no sense of direction. We can't just leave her. I'm gonna go meet up with her. We'll make sure she runs somewhere safer. We're counting on you. Where's Kisaragi? Where did she just run off to? Well, uh, um... Kisaragi, what's your status? Answer me. <sighs> Kisaragi, the girl is... I know. I'll get back to the battle once Miwa goes safe. <sighs> Wait, was that your hero? No more enemies, right? What the heck? Wow, we took no damage? Damn. Way to be. Yeah, not to know. Aw, BJ, I did my best. That's so cute. Uh, Tamaki Saragi, you think we'll go viral? <laughs> Alright, very nice. Plus one, blah blah blah. Hey, you know that we took very little damage. I think it's because everyone was long range, honestly. Uh, Mystery File, second generation Sentinels, S rank reward. Very nice. What else do we got? Yep, yep. Awesome. Yay! There is a trophy for completing all the bonus objectives, and I missed that one because I was an idiot. Uh, the reward, we got Miwoko Sawatari, mystery file. Yeah! No! <laughs> Alright, real quick, let's go read the new things we got. Let's see. Uh, oh, we have two mystery points we can buy two. Okay, let's read the updated ones first. Uh, Miyoko Sawatari is a good friend of Iori Fuyusaka and Tomi Kisaragi. The three of them often snack on something on their way home from school. She's kind of reserved girl who's self-conscious about her plump figure. Ah, oh, no, Miyoko, you're awesome. Okay, well, she's kind of bizarre, but she helped us run away from Goto that one time, so. Uh, let's see. Second generation sentinels. These sentinels have diverse armaments for both close combat and long range attacks, and they also have thick armor. They can weigh up to 2200 tons. The three sentinels of this generation are number 13, number 14, and number 15. The pilot of each respective sentinel during the final battle was Jiro Karabe in 13, Ryoko Shinonome in 14, and Iori Fuyusaka in 15. During the battle in 2064, Eiseki Gahara piloted sentinel number 15. Interesting. Okay, so he was in Iori's. Hmm. Plot importance? Probably. Let's see, what do we want to unlock? Maybe we'll keep going in order? Uh, actually, let's try and do strategically, right? Wait, Heita Takamiya. Taka, well, Heita, Heita Takamiya. What the heck is that? Alright, let's go 426. Because, come on, that's the one we all want to know about, right? 426 is the prisoner number of an escaped criminal from the future. The Kisaragi android that 426 was using as his body got destroyed during the battle against the Tamao Karaba android in 1985. 
He then took over the Tamao android's body and managed to escape. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so the Tomy android was 426. Who the heck? I know Sophie said in the comments that 426 is one of the big mysteries. I really don't know if it's Ace Hikigahara, honestly. That seems a little, like, weird. Okay, so it's some kind of AI or person whose mind got put into the Kisaragi android. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. Uh, let's, uh... Should we do this one? Maybe the magical gun? Yeah, let's do the magical gun, actually. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess when things get updated and I don't see them, it's because they're getting updated like this. Uh, bizarre looking gun that Fluffy gives to Megumi Akushiji. Whoever gets shot by this gun will have their short term memory of the incident distorted. This magical gun is identical to the one used by the woman who looks like Iori Fuyusaka at the end of Jiro Karabe's dream, in which he killed everyone. <laughs> Oops. In 1976, Nenji Ogata, who was seven years old at the time, gets injected with nano machines by Miss Morimura, the one considered to be the grown up version of, the Fuyus of Fuyusaka. Jesus. It's a crucial step in preparing the Sentinels. An apparatus that uses compressed air to inject miniature capsules of nano machines into a human body, also known as a syringe gun. Interesting. Well, I wonder if um, Fluffy has any correlation to 426. I mean, unless we still know Fluffy's made up in Megumi's head, to be honest. Who knows? Okay, so maybe each time it is injecting nano machines, but maybe. This is part of the way people's codes are being rewritten. I mean, if you inject new nano machines, I'm guessing some in some way the code has to change, right? I mean, I don't know anything about nano machines, but uh, just thinking from like a logic perspective, I guess. Interesting. Okay, I think that's all we have for now. Huh. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Okay. So I can either make this episode longer or I could cut it short. Uh, let's see. I may just do 40, 45 ish minutes, but maybe only one episode a day. So let's keep going. Okay, let's do. Gosh, I don't even know anymore. Maybe Megumi? See what the heck she keeps doing? She's been shooting people, so I still want to know, like, how she's, uh, handling that. Um. Maybe we'll start doing, like, one battle an episode or something. Okay, so let's do Megumi. Yeah, let's do whatever, some some of her with the time we have left, I think. Or we could complete Takamiya's. Uh, let's do Megumi. <laughs> I'm decisive. I'm decisive. Let's go. Let's do Megumi. Yeah, this might be one episode a day. Sorry, just because of school. But I'll try to do at least, like, 45-ish no. minutes. Oh. oh, he's watching TV. Y you all right, Jiro? Jiro, um... What is it? You're making a weird face. Huh? Um, well, because of what happened on the roof today. The roof? What are you talking about? <gasps> oh, that's right. He saw the robot, right? He saw her shoot, um... Gosh, was it Amaguchi? Yes, Amaguchi, and then the cat wiped his memory, right? Okay, okay, that's what happened last. Fluffy. He really did alter his memories. Oh, I can't open my thought cloud. It's nothing. I'll start making dinner. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just make instant noodles or something later. You can't eat that for dinner. It won't take long. So hang on just a bit. Okay? I really just wanted some ramen. <laughs> I really just wanted some ramen. Oh, I can't change the channel? Wow, for once, I can't change the channel. Now to the ongoing story of the American helicopter crash. Huh? During a routine flyby, a U.S. military helicopter clipped Sakura High School at low altitude. <laughs> and crash-landed into Ayame Park. A U.S. military helicopter? That was definitely a sentinel. Did Fluffy do this too? <sighs> what 
What a nice evening. Fluffy. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported in the aftermath of the U.S. military helicopter crash. First gas explosions, now helicopter crashes. Human cities really are the worst. What did you do? Juro's memories of what happened on the roof. You really did erase them. You gave me no choice. But if you can do it so easily, what's to say you won't do the same to me? Well, nothing really. So it's possible that you won't restore his memories. And are just using me for your own personal gain. If I was a bad guy, sure. Okay, yeah, but I don't know you're not a bad guy. <laughs> there was no U.S. helicopter crash. It was different from the one Juro was piloting. But it was a sentinel. Altering the news is part of your powers, too? You think cats are some kind of little furry gods? You're no cat. Well, duh. It'd be pretty crazy if there was a talking cat wandering around. Wait a minute. What if you're the crazy one? Maybe I'm just a figment of your imagination. Maybe there's no such thing as magic. Maybe he's an AI cat who just looks super realistic. <laughs> he's like, do you really think cats are little furry gods? And I'm like, yes, that's why I love them. <laughs> I basically worship cats. I let them do whatever they want, man. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. There it is. Clark's three laws, huh? Well, guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'm a cat-like robot from the future. I even gave you a secret gadget. Oh yeah, the time machine's inside your desk drawer. Wanna check out my four-dimensional pocket? Quit messing with me. You wanna not be so sarcastic? <laughs> the Dimos Code. By sealing those that hold power, we'll be able to defeat the Kaiju. That's what you said, right? I said that you all wouldn't have to die. Tell me what you're really trying to do. Otherwise, I won't help you anymore. That's going against our contract. Fine, I'll make an exception this time. Even if you seal the witches, the kaiju will still come. Then what are we sealing them for? This is a game. A game of survival. I've simply been readying the playing field. And now the witches will join in the fight. They'll have no choice but to take their sentinels into battle. Then, what I've been shooting them with is... A magic that forces them onto the battlefield. No. Anything can be resolved with a magical spell. A happy ending for everyone. You know that's not the way it works. Your world's future is on the line. You need to fight to win it. I'm just here to watch it happen. What the heck, Fluffy? You're talking to me way too much today. What does it matter to you who I am anyways? Your only concern is for Juro, right? I've been looking for memories in that busted brain of his. It's like trying to sift through mud, and it's all for you. But if you want to break our contract, then I'll stop right now. It won't be hard to find someone more capable than you. An honest girl who actually wants her wish granted. <sighs> now. If you plan on upholding your end of the contract, then I need proof. I want you to shoot your friend. Tomi Kisaragi. She's a witch. I can't do that! Remember your contract. Remember it real good. Tomi...
Ooh, here we go. The day Fluffy arrived. Juro? Why are you sleeping out here? You're gonna catch a cold. Don't wake him up. <laughs> you again. But how? I said, don't wake him up, idiot. I'm fixing him. This prank is starting to get on my nerves. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Is someone trying to test me? You really are a suspicious one, aren't you? Your cute girl charm is quickly wearing off. It's time to start accepting your reality. But... talking cats don't exist. That's right. And yet here I am. Even better, I know your wish. Hasn't Juro said anything to you? Something about his dreams, perhaps? Now that you mention it, he did say he had a dream about getting in a robot. Yes, I've been digging through his memories. Will that make him remember everything? Maybe, if they're still in there. I can find memories and put them back into an empty head. Pretty amazing, I know. <laughs> well, that's the end of your trial period. I gave you a preview of the benefits you'll get from me. Anything further requires a contract. <sighs> oh, fine, I'll answer any questions you have. And then, you have to decide. After you agree, there'll be no more questions. I expect you to carry out your duties with no complaints. What exactly are you? A magic cat, obviously. You said you came from a world that was destroyed? That's right. My world was destroyed by Daimos. Daimos? You mean the Kaiju, right? You heard that from Juro Izumi, didn't you? The curse that summons them. That's the Daimos Code. And all the witches in this world are affected by it. Let's say I do agree to this contract. How do I know you'll hold up your end of the deal? Well, aren't you rude? Cats are free spirits, but they are not con artists. <laughs> A cat who betrays his word is nothing more than an animal. If you don't trust me, then say so. You're only wasting time. <sighs> what will I have to do to fulfill my end of the contract? At least a general idea. Your job isn't hard. First, I will give you one of my magical tools. You will use that to seal the witches. Seal them? What happens after that? The Daimos Code will call the Kaiju. If you seal the witches that have access to it, you will be able to live longer than you are fated. The Daimos Code? You mentioned that before. You said it was a relic of an ancient civilization? A terribly old relic. From a magical civilization that existed millions of years ago. But if it's from that long ago, humans would have still been apes. It's pretty crazy, right? Can you tell me more about the witches? They are those born with the power of magic. Piloting sentinels, using gates. It's only a fraction of their power. And Juro is one of them? That's right. He's a witch too. Hmm. Don't be shy. Ask me something. If you're not going to ask anything, then make your choice. 
Uh, I mean, obviously she accepts it, right? I guess we'll accept it. You can fix Juro, right? Sifting through someone's head is what I'm best at. Oh. Okay. I will accept your contract. Then it's settled. Now, this should go without saying. But this agreement between us... If anyone finds out, the contract will be broken. And you'll never see me again. What's your real name? Call me whatever you want. Well, I don't know then. You called me something when you saw me at school. What was it? Oh, um... Fluffy. Now, <laughs> oh, how lame. Not very original, are you? Lots of things are fluffy. Well, whatever. I guess that's fine. Hmm. Oh, he looked at me again. Are you hungry, little guy? All right, really quick before this episode gets too long, I think I'm gonna cut it here. Very interesting. So, at first I thought he said it was gonna seal them. I thought that meant maybe the Dymos code would stop transmitting. But now he's saying it's not that. It's actually just that. I mean, the Dymos or the yeah, the Dymos, the Kaiju will still come, but the what we've been injecting people with is basically gonna force them into battle. I think it's kind of like what we've seen where people just get pulled to their sentinel, like against their will, kind of like they just kind of summon it. Um, so yikes! I guess, I guess that's bad? Question mark? Forcing them into battle against their will? I mean, that is bad, but I don't know. Forcing people to fight? I guess they're still gonna fight. So I can't tell if he's on the bad side yet. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, unless he's lying. Uh, I really want to know what he would have said his name was. Because maybe that would tell us if he's, I don't know, an AI or whose mind is in that body. The way he talks kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, kind of Okino maybe. But I, I'm expecting Okino for everything. So I'm just going to drop that. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um... I hope me dropping down to one video a day doesn't upset you too much. I hope you'll still keep watching the series. Um, thank you for your support so far, by the way. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, whatever you're feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.